Hey, good morning. We have been celebrating War Eagle Week all week long, and joining me now is John Armbruster with the Museum of Natural History. There's a lot of cool things going on here. He's going to give us a behind the scenes tour. So, first, let me ask you this What room is this that we are in right now? Well, we call this our bird and bone room. So, okay. we have osteological specimens in here, so skeletons. Yeah. Uh, we have paleontology, and we have our bird collection as well. Okay, awesome. So what are some of the coolest things that you have in this room in particular? Well, uh, right behind us, we got a couple of specimens. So this is actually a bone from a dinosaur. Oh, uh, wow. Hold that. I've never held a dinosaur bone. How about that? Yeah, so that was found in Western Alabama and it's part of a dinosaur, duck duckbill dinosaur called the Florathon. Wow. And that's its, its uh, arm bone. I, I'm just amazed. It, it almost feels like ceramic. I wonder what gives it, what causes that to, to so, happen. So time. as it's sitting in the rock, mm -hmm. it has had minerals leach into all the little spaces in the bone. So it's more rock than bone now. Mm -hmm. And if you were to compare that to an actual living bone, it would be this would be much heavier. Oh wow! I know during the um, commercial break you told me that you had a dinosaur egg. Yes, and Can we, take we a have look it at right that? behind you here. Okay. Uh, we keep that in a special case here because it is the only dinosaur egg found east of the Mississippi River. Oh wow! And it's currently be, being studied by James Lamb, who's okay. at uh, Western Alabama. Oh my goodness! And wow. so that's it. And what's special about it is that the embryo is there. It's still there, I see. So James has had this CT scan and has been able to pull all the bones out of that CT scan and mm -hmm. understand what this organism is. But we'll have to wait till uh, he can tell you that. Oh, wow. Well, I know that's exciting. I know that you guys are looking forward to that. This is just a jewel within itself. Yeah. And could you tell me, Jonathan, why is it so important that we hold on to these things and, and study them furthermore? Well, for specimens in general, it's, it's like a library, but we can't replace those specimens because they're a unique thing in time and right. nature has changed. We've influenced it and nature has itself changed. And so these are unique elements in time and then something like this is truly unique. This is the only one of these things in the world that is like this. So scientifically, that's fantastic. I mean, it, it, it's irreplaceable. Monetarily, it's not worth that much, right, but it's right. very important to what our understanding is. And if you see it, it looks small. Yes. And dinosaur eggs were relatively small compared to bird eggs. So this yeah. was probably a 12, 15, 20 foot dinosaur, uh, but it came out of something this small and it grew very quickly. So um, the Natural History Museum is not um, usually open to the public, but you have specific days and times where people can kind of come by. Is that how that works? Yes. So uh, we have what we call First Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and it's a tour where you go behind the scenes and see what uh, the museum collections are actually like. Okay. And you can sign up for that at aumnh.org, so Auburn University Museum of Natural History, or wow. you can just search for that on Google. specimen in these large specimen tanks and these are actually pythons from Florida they've been introduced there and a student here was working on a lung parasite that was present in these guys and they all have one or two in their very large lungs uh, I mean there's a lot of things in just in this room alone you can look over here we had we take put out some of our more interesting specimens. So uh, we do have Pleistocene stuff like a, a mastodon femur there. Uh, somebody donated us recently that's a Triceratops uh, sacrum, which is the bone that the hips attach into. Uh, that's that large piece right there. Uh, turtle shell. Uh, we actually have the other, that's a mold of the inside of the turtle shell. We have the other, the rest of the turtle shell elsewhere. Let me ask you this. I just have to ask you because I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Do you have the amber? With the well, we don't, we, we don't have any amber, but uh, <laughs> so um, we do own uh, the piece of the Appalachosaurus, which was yeah. the um, only Tyrannosaurus that's been found in Alabama, and uh, that piece is actually on display at the McWayne Center wow. in Birmingham, okay. and we have a cast here 
uh, to look at if you wanted to. So if someone's interested in this, in, in majoring in this, where can they go for it, more information? Well, they can come to us, our, our webpage, or they can also look up the Department of Biological Sciences at Auburn University, as well as uh, Geosciences at Auburn University. You can get more fossils there. Okay, well, thank you so much for waking up so early with us. All right, back to you, Marlena and Miller in the studio.